Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. I'm back with another fall haul. This time it's Bath & Body Works. And of course we're in that kind of early stages of Bath & Body Works fall where it's their first wave of candles and a lot of those core collection stuff and things like that. Things that we've probably seen quite a bit of over the years. Went back and looked at my channel last year. The hauls are not gonna be the most exciting thing ever. At least last year, I felt like there was really um, some meat on the bones last year uh, for early fall from Bath & Body Works. Right now though, there's really not, um, there's just, I mean, blueberry pumpkin patch right now is really, if you're looking for something new and unique, that's what I would recommend. Um, I've been sitting on this haul for a good bit, probably uh, three or four days. Just now getting around to filming it. I don't know when I'm gonna edit it and put it up on my channel. I guess you could probably say I'm not like the rest of the reviewers or at least a lot of channels where, I mean, they're racing to get their hauls up, especially new candles, especially with Bath & Body Works. People just wanna talk about the new Bath & Body Works stuff because there's just not a lot of it. There's not a lot of new and exciting stuff. So when there's something new, doesn't matter what it is. It's just gonna put it up there. That's not me. I mean, I just kind of milk this stuff a little bit. Um, but I do have this right here. I'm gonna kind of start this video out with this one right here. I've already got this fragrance going. It is apple crumble. And yes, I do have a holiday icicle, I don't know, wallflower plug-in right there with this one. Uh, apple crumble, put it in a little bit early this year, but we're heading into um, the week of 4th of July. So that's, of course, that's always gonna be the fragrance that I kick off my uh, fall burning with, my fall home fragrance burning and melting and stuff like that. And this thing is kicking right now. Don't like to put this in the living room and kitchen because it usually is gonna take over or combine with whatever candles I'm burning. And I do the majority of my burning in my living room and kitchen area. So. And I've got this in my bathroom area. I know some people are weirded out by having foodie scents in the bathroom. I'm not, it really kind of bleeds into the bedroom which is connected to the bathroom. So it's, it's fine. It covers two rooms and I get to experience the fragrance at all times, you know, for the most part. And it even kind of goes into the adjacent closet and utility room too. So it's just a really awesome fragrance. Would love to see Apple Crumble come back even if it were in the wallflowers, I'd love to see it back. And I know some of you are gonna comment on the little icicle here, wallflower plug-in, um, and ask me, well, you might as well start putting fall stuff out. And I'm just not there yet. I'm not ready to start decorating for fall. I don't do that until at least probably late August, early September. I know my neighbors think I'm nuts when I put Halloween decor out in early September. I, I know they do, so. Um, when I start decorating for fall, that's probably a couple of weeks in advance of that. So that'll be around August. Um, I usually like to have kids back in school. I have three requirements usually. Kids back in school, um, pumpkin spice lattes back on the menu at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. And I wanna have football on the TV too. Those are my three things. And then it really feels like fall to me. That's the trifecta of things that I need to happen. I've always felt like you decorate early for fall and months in advance, doesn't it ruin the experience when fall actually gets here? You know, if you've already been experiencing it and going through it via home decor in your home for several months in advance, isn't it very anticlimactic when fall season gets here? It's kind of the same with people who put up their Christmas tree in September, don't you think? I mean. I'd be tired of it by Thanksgiving if I did that. Enough of that. While we're on the subject of wallflowers, I'm going to talk about a couple of wallflowers I picked up in this haul. Um, this one right here, Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli, is now out in the wallflower this year. Um, I have it in the Three Wick Candle now. I have it in the Room Spray. And I now have it in the Wallflower too. I've also seen it in a One Wick Candle. And I think it's coming out in another Three Wick Candle form. Um, another collection. So I am gonna rock Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli this October into Halloween. I didn't really do it last year for a fragrance that I feel like is very patchouli Halloween perfect. Um, I think Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli is gonna be one that I'm gonna really get into this year. 
in several different form factors. And the only other wallflower that I got is this one right here. I don't think it's a returning fragrance, but it's Cranberry Orange Seltzer. I'm looking forward to the candle in this one as well. Um, I know there's a whole drink collection, fall drink collection coming out. It's also got a spiced blackberry cider that I'm really looking forward to. I hope they don't do what they did with Blueberry Pumpkin Patch back in the day. They had Blueberry Pumpkin Patch and I wanna say it was Blackberry Bramble Tea as a fragrance. There's that blackberry. So we've got spiced blackberry cider, blackberry bramble tea. I hope they don't do the same thing they did years ago with blueberry pumpkin patch where they were basically the same fragrance. And blueberry pumpkin patch being back, I hope they're not just making spiced blackberry cider very similar to blueberry pumpkin patch. That would be disappointing. I want a true spicy blackberry cider. I don't want to see a repackage of blueberry pumpkin patch. And here is the fragrance that I am currently burning. Um, I don't keep them in this room. I'm only doing this for this video. This is of course pumpkin cinnamon bun, which I hauled recently here on this channel. It's doing really well. Um, high flames on these wicks, no issues so far. I've had this one going for um, a couple of days now and really happy with it. But again, like last year's, I'm getting a cream cheesy cheesecake from this, a spicy, warm, milky cheesecake. And I don't know how the rest of you feel about warm, milky fragrances, but they're not always the most enjoyable. I don't get a flaky, spicy cinnamon bun from this. They've had other cinnamon roll fragrances that they've done much more accurately than I feel like this has done. It is a little bit more enjoyable than it was last year. It's throwing really well, um, no complaints there. It's just the fragrance. I don't get any pumpkin from it and I honestly don't get cinnamon bun from this one, but I'm enjoying it this year. I am gonna end up burning my one other one that I bought last year. Yeah, I did wanna update this candle. Um, of course, I'm gonna have it in an empties video as well and it will eventually make its way after this video out into my living room and kitchen area. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but last year I did a uh, fall hand soap haul on this channel. And that's what I had originally planned on doing here with this video, but there just were not a lot of hand soaps that I want. You know, there were, I only got two in this haul. This one right here, which I surprisingly have none of, pumpkin pecan waffles. And of course, everybody loves this fragrance in the hand soaps, the hand creams, um, the shower gel, the body lotion, even the fine fragrance mist, people love this fragrance. And I thought, well, I have none, I might as well get one. And then a fragrance that I bought last year, which I think it was the first year it was out in the hand soap, um, it's this one, Autumn S'mores. And the funny thing about this one, fragrance notes on this are crisp apple, gooey marshmallow, and cinnamon spice. So, Autumn S'mores. I don't know. Um, I wanna talk to the perfumer who came up with this one and ask him how he enjoys his s'mores. Cause I don't feel like he enjoys them the way 99% of the rest of us do. It's a really nice fragrance though. I actually would love to see this in a three-way candle. Would love to see this in home fragrance, but I enjoyed the heck out of it. I bought the, uh, the gel uh, hand soap last year. Got the foaming hands up this year. Really like this one. Okay, we're gonna talk about the candles now that I picked up. Picked up four of them. Um, Apple Macchiato, I bought this one again. I, I enjoyed the other one so much, at least on cold, that I wanted to pick this one up again. Um, and I do really enjoy it. I feel like having two, it's sufficient. I'll burn one this year, probably have one for, and if I really enjoy it while burning, I'll probably just burn the other one this year instead of keeping it. Um, Washington Spiced Apples, Hint of Cinnamon, Caramel Drizzle, and Froth Milk. And yeah, it is that apple that's in Pumpkin Apple. So when you initially smell this, you're immediately gonna be reminded of Pumpkin Apple. But I feel like the more I smell it, it almost kind of feels like there's a bakery note in this too. Feels like 
Um, not a huge noticeable one, one that jumps out, but once you kind of start smelling it more and more, yeah. And there's a sweetness, a definite sweetness from the caramel glaze too. Um, I would almost even consider this a caramel apple fragrance. Yeah, almost. Uh, that's a good one. Apple macchiato. The next one has been out for a few years. This is my first year to ever own it. I've only ever smelled it before and thought, not a chance. I'm not bringing you home, but I did this time and I want to actually burn it to kind of give my initial thoughts on it, even though it's been out for a few years. I remember when this came out for the first time, probably about three years ago. Um, it was one everybody was excited for. And then we smelled it and there went the excitement. And it's this one right here. It's pumpkin spice latte. Notes on this one are pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream, and a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. So the trouble with this one is they used an oil, obviously, for their coffee here. They used a coffee oil that has a chocolate undertone to it. So, and a lot of coffee oils do. But what that did to the fragrance is it made it not smell anything like a pumpkin spice latte. Which is ironic because when I was checking out the lady that was checking me out in line, she was kept sniffing it and was like, Oh, I love this one. It's one of my favorites. It smells exactly like a pumpkin spice latte. And I thought, where do you get your pumpkin spice lattes at? Um... I think I'm just gonna go off of what most of us are probably used to from Starbucks, a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. And surprisingly enough, those actually smell like pumpkin and spice. I I'm gonna guess cinnamon, nutmeg. It really does. The pumpkin syrup or pumpkin sauce really does kind of taste like you would expect the smell of pumpkin spice to smell like. So. With the chocolate feel in this, it actually kind of smells like a, an Oreo cookie a little bit. It's not a real spicy candle. So that hint of cinnamon, no, I, I don't really get cinnamon out of this on cold. Um, that brewed espresso, no. It's just a disappointment on cold. Of course, that freshly brewed coffee that came out this year in the three wick it is essentially just Paris Cafe. So their coffee fragrances, not really living up to what I was expecting from them. Um, but yeah, I wanna try to burn this one, see what it does. That's pumpkin spice latte. The next one I have, speaking of coffee, is one that came out last year. It might've come out other years, but I never really paid attention to it. Um, it's this one right here, it's coffee and whiskey. I was really close to picking this up last year in the personal fragrance. I bought the smoked old fashioned in their personal fragrance bottles, but I did not end up getting this one. I thought it smelled really nice. And the coffee really stood out in the personal fragrance form. But here in this candle, I'm getting something almost, okay, bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, hint of coffee. Okay, there's a hint of coffee in here. It's being generous too. I almost get a body care-esque marshmallow from this. Um, reminds me of that candle. I think it was called Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte that comes out occasionally here and there. It comes out in body care as well. It's a very not gourmand marshmallow pumpkin latte. It does smell like body care. I actually would be fine wearing something like this on me as far as personal fragrance goes. It almost kind of smells like a sweet lavender here in this too. It's very soft. It's not a harsh herbal lavender, um, not a French lavender. This is very soft and it's very soothing and it has a little bit of a clean feel to it as well. So combine that with that marshmallow kind of fluffiness to the body care, um, the body care feel of this fragrance. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte-esque, very similar to that fragrance. And that's what I get from this. And I smell this and I'm thinking, okay, smells good, smells nice. Uh, coffee and whiskey, not really. Um, 
something that I would want for home fragrance? Maybe not. Um, in the bedroom? Maybe. Maybe in the bedroom. That might be something uh, that would be nice to fall asleep to. I don't know. We're going to give it a shot though. Coffee and whiskey. Okay, the last candle I have in this haul is this one right here. To my knowledge, it's a new fragrance. It's apple and charcoal. Was actually really excited for this one. I loved the apple wood and clove fragrance that came out last year in this same collection. And the notes on this one are sweet red apple, smoked charcoal, and that's it. Two notes. Okay. Um, and I smell this on cold and I'm just like, okay, is that it? Is that all? That all you got for me? Sure. There's not a charcoal note you want to bring my way. I mean, it is a very sweet red apple. It does smell like a red delicious apple. It's almost a cross between a red delicious and a Macintosh. And I'm really not getting much else here. I mean, I was hoping for some kind of chalky, um, charcoal, maybe burnt smell to the fragrance. I wasn't even hoping for a pumpkin bonfire burnt, that kind of smokiness. I didn't even need that. Just a hint of it, something here to say, this is not just your typical sweet red apple. And it does not smell like Honeycrisp apple to me. It, it smells more tolerable. I've never owned that candle. There are 10 different apple fragrances I would recommend from Bath & Body Works and other candle companies that before I would recommend Honeycrisp Apple. It's just not a fragrance that's ever appealed to me. This is nice though, it's sweeter. There might be a little something lurking, a warmth, and that's it, a warmth to this. Boy, <laughs> just keep in mind, I mean, if the charcoal note was gonna scare you, don't worry about it. But if the charcoal note excited you a little bit, don't worry about it. It's neither. Um, it's basically a red delicious apple. It's very fresh and very sweet. It's not as challenging as the name would suggest. That's apple and charcoal. So as you can see, as far as the candles go, it was much ado about nothing, to be honest. Um, apple macchiato, I'm glad to have another one of those in my stash. But as far as everything else goes, new fragrances really to me that I just wanted to try and see how they did. Um, we're kind of at a standstill right now as far as Bath & Body Works stuff goes. Um, the Halloween candles, no, no. I've never really purchased any of their Halloween candles. Not even when I was on Instagram as well. So, um, and at the price that they're at, that is a hard pass for me. So you're not going to see that from me. Um, you're going to see probably as far as Bath and Body Works goes, you're just going to see empties. I've got an empties video coming up here at the end of this month, which really isn't going to feature a ton of candles. I've kind of just been finishing off my spring and summer burning and leading into fall burning. So I don't have a ton of stuff for that video. And as far as Bath and Body Works goes, unless they start to put out some new things and some interesting things, it's going to be sparse uh, from here until the next collection comes out. So yeah, that's it guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.